This is our 2021 GV80 with a 3.5. Uh, there wasn't any information on how to do an oil change on it. I just saw one video of uh, how much of a pain in the butt the oil filter to, is to get to way down there. But it's really not that bad once you get it figured out. So I'm going to show you how I did it. And I imagine this is probably a similar way the dealer does it. But uh, you pull this cover off. You've got the uh, fill right here. I removed the air inlet to the air box right here and then I'm going to remove this it's a 10 millimeter and then I'm going to use this a little pick and peel these up each way and then lift this out I'm not going to completely disconnect I'm not going to disconnect this side just this side it's on a real flexible rubber hose over here and then you can get to the filter right down there. I'm doing this by myself, so I might not be able to get it. But I'm using this little pick, and you just go on that little tab right there. And so there's one on the other side too, and then you just do right here. Just do both of those. So I'm gonna peel those out and lift this out without the video going on. So now that those tabs are open you can pull it out and lift it out of the way and now you got a lot more access to the filter so we're gonna use a 27 millimeter on a long extension get down there and unscrew it and then we're gonna use some long needle nose pliers to pull it out okay so now that this is disconnected and the filter is unscrewed with the extension I lift this kind of up out of the way and then I use some needle nose pliers. If you got smaller hands you can probably get it out and then you lift it out. So I'm just using a the factory oil filter uh, because well there is no aftermarket ones available for the GV80 with the 3.5 at the time of this video. I'm sure there will be eventually. But it comes with O-rings, four here, there's two here. I'm gonna replace those and then for a crush washer for the drain plug. But this just pulls out and then you just push this new one in and away you go. Okay, so there's that tiny port at the very bottom of the filter housing. You need to make sure when you put your filter back in that goes in there so you just push it in and then start tightening it but we have the o-rings change filter change just pushed it into the housing and then we're going to slide it down with this all the way at the bottom like that make sure it hits in there and then thread it in Now I have the filter back on, tightened down, not super tight, just kind of hand tight, a little bit above that. And then these are all really easy to put back together. Just snap in like that. This one goes in like that, and then you just reset these. And that's all back together. I am probably going to take this wire probably ground it out over here somewhere because I plan on owning this car for a while and then uh, that way the oil changes are easier but I'm gonna put this back and reattach the ground strap there and that's pretty much it for the top of the engine I'll see what goes on in the bottom so far it's pretty simple it's like dealing with like a Porsche or Mercedes or something it's not as easy as like a Civic but well Honda did us a favor a little axis flap to drain the oil right here from the giant belly pan so you don't have to remove this whole thing. Sweet! So I'm going to use my trusty little pick here. Try this. Get that open. Pretty difficult one hand. Uh, and then you slide this. And there's the drain plug right there. Make sure you have a drain pan big enough because this thing holds eight quarts or seven and a half. 
and you don't want to drain it all over your driveway. I think that's pretty much it. From here, it's just a basic oil change. Drain this, wait for it to stop, put the drain plug back in, and then fill it from the top, call it a day. Oh yeah, one more thing. That's a 17 millimeter. Help save you some time.